Salwete de Scipuli, you have made it to your last eighth grade Latin assignment. Congratulations. Today's assignment is focusing on reviewing pronouns, and it'll be hopefully simple and not take you long. There's a few pronouns that you're going to parse in today's assignment, and I wanted to take a minute just to go over uh, the first couple with you, um, just so that you can get started and do it pretty easily. So for this assignment, um, you're going to need either your pronoun reference sheet, that would be preferable, or if you don't have it, you can use pages 246 and 247 in your books. Um, those list all the pronouns that you will need for today's assignment. Today's assignment is focusing on personal pronouns and demonstrative pronouns, which are all listed on your pronoun reference sheet. So to parse pronouns, what you're going to need, uh, what information you're going to need to give me is um, person or demonstrative, and I'll go over all of these just to make sure you know what I'm talking about. Case, um, number, and gender. You will not have to translate these. It's just parsing the endings. So the first task, you are going to need to find the pronoun in one of your charts. Um, so the first one in the assignment is nobis. And I've done that one for you, and I'm going to use it as an example to walk you through, kind of refresh your memory how to go about doing this. So, no beast is the first one, and you're going to want to find that on either your pronoun reference sheet or on pages 246 and 247. Um, so, you're going to find no beast in the first person pronoun chant. Um, so, obviously, in that first um, spot, it says person or demonstrative. Um, in this case, this is a personal pronoun. It's not in one of the demonstrative charts, so we would say first person. Now, if we had um, another one that's in one of the demonstrative charts, um, either he, kai, kok, or ele, ela, elud, um, in that place, you would say either near or far, depending on which demonstrative it is. So, he, kai, kok, any version of that would be near, and then ele, ela, elud would be far. Um, so, person or demonstrative goes in that first blank. The second one is case, and for a lot of these, there's going to be multiple options. Um, you, as usual, you can pick one. You don't have to say all of them. For nobis, I've gone ahead and told you that it is dative and ablative. It could be both. Um, as you look at your chart, you'll find it in both the dative and the ablative case. Um, you can pick one. You don't have to put both. So that is dative or ablative. Um, and if you look at number, number is going to be plural because it is in the plural side of the chart. Um, so make sure for number you don't put an actual number. You say either singular or plural. And then gender. If you notice, um, the gender blank for nobis is blank because first and second person pronouns in Latin do not have gender. Remember, they're the ones that only have two um, parts to the chant. And so all the ones that have three, like third person or the demonstratives, will have a gender. Um, so you'll say masculine, feminine, or neuter. Um, but for first or second person, you'll leave that one blank. So for pronouns, you'll need to find them in the chart. Um, tell me what kind of a pronoun it is, whether it's first, second, or third person, or demonstrative, near or far, case, number, and gender if it applies. And remember, if there are multiple options, you can pick one. You don't have to put all of them. And again, you do not have to translate these, just parsing today. Hopefully this won't take you long. If you need any help or have any questions at all, feel free to let me know. I'd love to help you out. You guys have done a great job. Um, you've worked really hard, um, and I'm really proud of the way that you guys have finished the year, and you guys have done really awesome. So congratulations on doing your last eighth grade Latin assignment, um, and I will see you guys later. Walete discipuli.